Welcome everybody back with a brand new tech video and in today's tech video we're going to be discussing some news and in this news we're going to be discussing the newly launched Freely. Now before we go into that I do want to apologise as well for the lack of videos. I know the last video I did publish is on your screen right now or the thumbnail of it. Um, I know that was last month and it was due to factors of, um, beyond my control such as more recently with the Wi-Fi being an outage and I did a full video on that so if you do want to watch it I'll link the video or, or what video to see should you want to see that video on screen right now. Um, so yeah, the, the the full explanation is within that video. So I'm hoping that's going to be you know useful to watch and you know in case you want more of a, an in-depth answer as to why there has been um, a lack of content for the last month. But now the content is now resuming. So I'm hoping you have subscribed, turn notifications on, and yeah back with a new video and let's get straight into this one so uh, without further ado we're just going to launch this Freely official website now Freely is a, uh, a free view replacement supposed to be um, to replace you know Arial um, however on prior launch it didn't really give off that ride that it's going to be uh, as hopeful as, as it does say on the print I, th I do think it's been launched rather too soon because there isn't many channels on you know on, on the actual service. I mean you get the basic cable, BBC one, um, BBC two, BBC uh, BBC three, BBC four, um, my TV channels, channel four, channel five, and that's practically it. Um, I'm not sure if you get the plus one varieties, um, but as you can see they're sponsored by the BBC, ITV and channel four, channel five. Um, so it says here stream live and on demand TV. All you need is Wi Fi, no dish, no box, no need for an aerial. 95% of all UK favourite TV shows, pause and rewind uh, and, and restart live TV and just press the 3D button on your remote. Um, so on prior, you know, l looking on the pictures and the, the, you know, the illustrations of it, it does look really interesting, you know, how it's designed and how it's produced and how it's, and how it's developed. However, there is some major drawbacks and one being you don't have all the free view channels on there, so you don't even have Challenge, you don't have Gold, you don't have Dave, you don't have any of those varieties on Freely, and most importantly as well, you have to actually buy a brand new television, so if you have TVs already in your home prior to Freely being out, you, you won't get Freely on there, only because, it, you know, you get free view play, I mean, I know I definitely have free view play on, um, on, my, on my TV remote, um, I think it's up by there actually right at the very bottom there um, so I won't be getting freely on my TV um, and all the TVs that I own as well I, you know I, w I won't be getting the freely addition onto any of these devices um, and not only that I do think as well freely as a website I think they should do it on a website as well because if they integrate with the TV uh, you know TV uh, devices I do think they could do a freely dedicated website you know, have all the streams on a website rather than just go to itvx.com rather than go to BBC iPlayer rather than go to Channel 4, Channel 5. Um, because if it's a backed project and it's just on TV stations, I don't think it's going to really convince many people to get a new television, only because um, if because I do know the aim why Freely was launched. It was just to make it easier, all in one app, combining demand live TV, all in one app, rather than downloading all the singular apps. However, I don't think it's going to work out so great because you're not going to convince many people as yet to get a brand new TV set just to add the extra free view channels. It's much easier having the devices that you already got and just either downloading the apps from. I know um, on my station you can you know you can get all the apps on um, on the app store. I mean as you can see there's apps. So I think it would maybe boost some uh, interest if they were to launch a standard app and and produce it to the. TVs that's already uh, included, you know, on the Freeview Play apps, Google Play apps, you know, everything like that. Because not many people want to stream stuff on a TV. They could stream stuff on a on a phone, a tablet, an iPad. Um, so to, to to really give that purpose of having streaming and everything in one, I think they should distribute it into one app as well, and maybe not convince people to you know buy a TV just for this because it's not. I don't think it's going to happen. Um, not not when people already got TVs and you know can live without having this uh, 
special launch, you know? I don't think it's going to convince many. And with the cost of living crisis as well, you just can't get equipment just like that. Um, so, it is on the fence with that. I think it's an OD project and it's not really fully developed yet. Um, so I think they were really quick to launch it, but with a massive drawback as well. Um, as you can see, they don't be fooled by this as well. There is um, the TV pages as well, but I, I don't actually think it is actually on the app itself. It just seems a TV guide, and it is. So don't be fooled. That's what you're actually going to be receiving on your TV station, on your TV set. Because uh, you know, if anything, it would be on the news before it'd be on the website. I just think this is just a convenient TV station guide. Um, so you won't get those channels as you just saw on your on, on that freebie service as yet. Um, as you can see there, just press freely. So you know, you've got to design the remote to get the latest news. Um, so, I mean, I like the idea, like the concept, but it comes with massive pros and cons. I mean, if I were to be interested in this, I would want it on my devices already. You know, just a simple app to download, you know, it would be convenient that way for most people. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's too soon whether it's going to be a really a success. It does give off of a vibe, it's probably too soon to wonder about that. But I know you can pick up a TV set with the freely launch. Um, quite considerably cheap as well. So let's go to the Argos and just have a look at what how much you can actually get these televisions from with you know with this new freely, uh, which is a, a supposed to be a replacement for Freeview. But who knows? I mean, in the next couple of months, maybe next year, it could probably have that. And, uh, you know, have that concept, have that future outlook. Um, but right now, it's a bit, a bit basic with the TV categories and you know the price of it, two hundred twenty nine pounds, two hundred twenty nine ninety nine. Sorry, um, it's pretty standard, you know. But if you if you already got a television, I don't think anyone's going to sell their television just to replace it with this. Um, you know, let's just have a look at what it actually says here. So. You know, built-in Wi-Fi, headphones, internet, um, resolution. Um, so yeah, that's just a little bit about what it actually has. Special offers. So that's, uh, that's an interesting point as well, really, it's not actually expensive for the TV set than I thought it would be, um, but I suppose to get people interested, to get people to maybe be convinced to purchase it, they've got to have it at a low price, um, you know, for it, to gather that interest, to gather that um, wow catch wow sort of thing. Uh, we're just going to type in freely news. So it doesn't really give off much, much more news than that. Um, but at the moment, everybody, I do think it's too soon, really, to purchase a, a TV set just for that. I, I, I would maybe reconsider the idea in a, in a, in a year, maybe another six months. Right now, it's only just started, and it's starting off very basic as well. Um, but hopefully, though, that that improves and it captivates people's you know expectations. You know, because you'd want that with the competition as like the, the like the Netflix, you know, everything like that. You know, that's everything streaming and freely is trying to get ahead of the competition. But I think in 2024, you're going to need to do a lot more, I think, you know. And just dive out of the TVs at the moment ain't going to really encourage people to do that yet. So, I hope you found this video a bit helpful. Everybody, TV channels or TV sets, sorry. Uh, and keep the one that you've got, I hope that have helped in terms of whether you should, whether you shouldn't, um, but if you have, hit that like button, subscribe and share video, and I'll see you on the next.